Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is download your WordPress.org installation file. I've gone ahead and logged in to cPanel here, but we're going to go over to WordPress.org and download the installation file. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and download the WordPress 4.1 file to my desktop. So we're going to click Save File, hit OK, and then save it right to my desktop. Once the file is downloaded, I'm going to find the file on my desktop, and then I'm going to extract the entire archive. Now that the files are extracted, let's go ahead and open the folder and we'll find the WordPress folder inside which will then have a wp-config-sample.php file. We're going to rename that to wp-config.php, copy that to the desktop, and then open it in a text editor. Next, we're going over to the cPanel file manager. This is the web root on my website. So we're going to go ahead and find the file, hit upload in cPanel, click browse, and then we're going to upload the WordPress 4.1 zip file. Now that the file is uploaded, we're going to go back to the cPanel file manager and refresh. Here you'll see the WordPress 4.1 zip file, which I'll right click, extract, and then click the extract files button. Now that the files are extracted, we'll go ahead and delete the zip file. And we have the WordPress folder here, which will select all the files and move all the files to the main root of the domain name. Here I'll just remove word public underscore HTML folder. And there you go. Now I'm just going to delete the extra WordPress folder. And that part of it is complete. Now I'm opening the wp-config file in a text editor. And from here, we're going to go ahead and set up the database in cPanel. So in cPanel, you're going to scroll down and you'll find this MySQL databases button. And here I'm going to add a new database. And in this case, I just called it WordPress with a zero. I'm going to copy that database name over to the wp-config file. Once that's complete, we need to create a username for our database. Here I'm just calling it demo. And I'm going to use the cPanel password generator to create a secure password. Once set, we're going to generate the password and copy that to the clipboard. From here, we'll enter in that password. And then we're going to copy over the password to the wp-config file. And then we'll go ahead and create user after copying over the username as well. Now that the username has been created, we still need to add permissions so that the username can talk to the database. So we'll click the Add button, 
click the All Privileges button, and then hit Make Changes. From there, it'll say you have successfully granted privileges to the database. And that's pretty much all you need to do to set up the database part of WordPress in cPanel. One last part of cleanup is I'm going to delete the wp-config sample file. And we're going to go ahead and create the hash secret keys salt part of the uh, wp-config. This will secure your database. So we'll copy over this information that is given from the URL. We'll paste it into the wp-config and then we'll go ahead and save the file. Now we need to upload the new wp-config file. So we'll hit upload, then we'll click browse, select the wp-config file, and then hit upload. From here we'll refresh the file and you'll see that wp-config.php is listed in our cPanel. Now I'm going to webhostingtraining.com, which is the website where I just set up this WordPress installation. You'll select your language, you'll type in your site title, you'll type in your username, and here do not use admin. And then you'll want to use a secure password. Type in your email, and then all you have to do is click Install WordPress. That's all you have to do. From here you're just going to click Login and use the same username and password. Click the Remember Me box and then hit Log In. From here, you'll see the dashboard is presented to you and you can also visit the site to make sure it's working. Thank you for watching this WordPress training video. If you'd like to support us, please consider subscribing to this Top 5 Awards video channel. If you like this and want to see more, Click the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share this video, and visit our WordPress training website at top5awards.com forward slash WordPress. We appreciate and thank you for your support.